Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today, we are getting our second high tunnel ready for planting. Alrighty, so the soil is nice and tilled, ready to go. This is, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it for this year. So since this is our first year growing tomatoes in here, I mean, first time ever growing anything in here, we gotta go ahead and mark out the rows. So I got my fancy impact in the screw. And what we do is we go ahead and mark on the wood, put a screw wherever the row is going. So then whenever we lay down the fabric and the drip tape, we know where the rows are going exactly. So now I'm gonna go with Isaac here and start Clean the screw so you can know exactly where the rows are going. So just got done putting these pieces of wood. So all we did is get a piece of screw through the wood and we just kind of crimp the um, the fabric to the wood, the bo bottom baseboard there. All around, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this side, do the same thing here, lay the center out and we'll be good to go and start planting. Alrighty, so I have been working here pretty much all day long and now I am getting the drip prep ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything ready to go, make the holes and go ahead and start planting tomorrow. It's supposed to get down to 36 tonight and we don't have a heater in here yet. So we're gonna wait until it warms up a little more. And we're hoping it's our last cool night of the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the drip tape here and uh, we'll start drilling the holes. Alrighty, so Isaac is gonna go ahead and uh, burn holes. It got dark in here. And what we did here is we just got this uh, piece of stick there, right measurement. And then we are burning through there and that's all it is. Pretty simple. We put that line there so it won't burn through the drip tape. Just get the torch, make a tiny hole. Get ready for planting tomorrow. Alrighty, so I just got back from Farmer's Market and it is Saturday afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and finish making all the holes. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the irrigation, let that soil soak in nicely. And then whenever we get to planting, we're just gonna go ahead and pluck the holes through the, pluck the plants through the tiny hole. And one thing we learned that makes it go a lot faster is if you go ahead and turn on your irrigation for a couple hours before you plant, then the soil becomes really muddy underneath and really soft. So all you gotta do is just kind of push your finger down and same same time with the plant, you just kind of, the roots and everything go down in there and then it seals up that plant nicely. Instead of doing it with dry dirt, which takes longer, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the irrigation, it makes it go a lot faster. And by the time the irrigation and stuff goes and soaks everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and continue making the holes here and then we will be good to go to start planting. Alright, so I went ahead and started planting and what I'm doing is I am just pulling out the plants out of the cells there and since the soil is already super moist in here I'm just, I mean I got the camera in my hand, I'm just shoving in a hole there super soft and just kind of readjusting the soil around there and that's all I'm doing and then they're going to go ahead and uh, straighten up here, I'm going to go ahead and stake them here the next week or so but I mean I got 400 tomato plants I need to go in here so it's going to one plant at a time, just keep it going. Alright, so we are moving out here quite nicely. I have my sisters out here working. This is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. They have nothing else to do, so they decided to help me out. So we already got four rows done almost. I just these are the Carolina Gold, same variety as in the other high tunnel. Red Deuce all the way down. And uh let me go ahead and show on the irrigation. She's almost done with that side. I'm gonna let the irrigation run on that side until we are done planting and then we'll be good to go. so just like that all the tomatoes in our second high tunnel are planted that was less than in one hour we got there's about 350 tomato plants in here like i said whenever we got the help out here just go 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 and don't stop until you're done and you know like i mentioned earlier we went ahead and tried the irrigation so that the soil could be moist whenever whenever we are planting so you know that that moisture actually helped us out because all we do is poke two or three like i explained earlier just to poke a tiny hole and just kind of shove that plug in there you know, I learned that trick from the water wheel transplanter whenever we plant the strawberries, you know, that really, you know, that's that's the point of the water wheel transplanter is to make that muddy, you know, area of the soil. So that whenever you throw the plug in there, it go, go ahead and go goes. So this next week, I'm going to go ahead and fertilize this for the first time. We amended the soil, but I'm going to go ahead and start on with the high potassium fertilizer to get that, that blossom initiation going, go ahead and stake them up. So hopefully we'll have another good crop of tomatoes out of here. So out of these 350 tomato plants, I'm looking to pick about 12 to 15,000 pounds out of here. So I mean, only time will tell, we can only do our part. Then God is the one who blesses our workings of every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video here. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, go to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day we will see you next time